everybody, Kelly here. Um, first thing that I'm going to do is apologise, I've not been around very much recently. Um, I'm going to share this project with you. Um, but we've had some unfortunate things happen at home. Um, a couple of weeks ago now, um, around about the time I completely lost my mojo, a drunk driver drove straight into the front of my house. So unfortunately, my house was quite badly damaged. Um, so we had to en empty the entire living room, which is where the drunk driver drove into, and move everything into the dining room so that the front room, the living room could be fixed. And it's just been an absolute nightmare. So around about the time we were having some quite bad luck, I sort of completely lost my mojo, was a bit down on things. So um, I'm hoping that's going to pick up. So what you can see in front of you is what I made to try and get my mojo back. Um, Basically, I forced myself to make these because I was really struggling with Mojo and I thought, right, I'm just going to do something and get it done. So what you can see in front of you are four, they're supposed to be flower pots and they were papier-mâché. And I have used the London Market Collection by Pink Paisley to cover them. Oh my goodness, now I understand why Amador, hi Amador, always raves about this collection. It is beautiful, I absolutely love it. Um, Oh, also, thank you very much. If you're a Facebook friend of mine, thank you so much for putting up with my sheer misery lately with my lack of mojo and my horrible circumstances at home because um, I know I've been really miserable and I'll try my very best to cheer up, but you know who you are and thank you. So, on to these. So, they are four different sizes, you can, as you can see, from big to small. I covered all of them in the Pink Paisley um, London Market line um, and then I added to all of them have little bits of... Can you see that? The dots mask texture paste on them. So if we start with this one, can you still see it if I put it there? Hold on a minute, let's move this back. I've already put the stuff in them that I want to store in them, so. Right, so I have, let's just show you a round view. So this back lace is from Lily Lanecker at Shabbylicious, who has also just moved to Zibit from Etsy. So hi Lily, and I suggest that everybody goes over and checks her out. She does some wonderful, wonderful items, and this is from her, such a good price. I will leave her link in the box below. And then this one is just a braid trim that I got from eBay. Then I have used some pearls all the way around, as you can see, some flat back pearls. There's an Arta cake up here which says domestically disabled, which is exactly what I am, uh, and some uh, ruffled seam binding. Then I've made a black lace flower, and I think this is known as a Trisha flower from a little shabby chic. I followed her tutorial for that. And this beautiful centre that I've used is from eBay. There's some feathers and some trim and some fibres in here. Then there is one of the Petaloo textured elements flowers. Absolutely stunning. Love them to bits. And then that flower down there is from Craft Supplies 1. And then round the side we've got some more trim. And there is a resin piece under there from my stash. So that is the first one, which is the big one. And then um, the things you can see sticking out the top is because I made these specifically for storage. And I've already started storing things in them. So this is this one. And I've got some lace from my stash just with the ribbon insert and some uh, white bead bling and then if we go to the front I've used a selection of wild orchid craft and recollection flowers as you know if you know this paper there is a little bit of blue so I did a bit of blue in here uh, distressed it all with some texture paint and then there's some trim which I've just sort of cut and placed sort of around the edges poking out like leaves and stuff and then there's some bits of trim poking out as well so that's that one then there is this one and this one just has this black pearl drop trim around the front this uh, trim with the ribbon in it is from eBay and then we have this little flower cluster here Wild Orchid Crafts um, some uh, trim this is a Craft Supplies One flower and this felt flower is from my stash and then there's an applique there can't remember if it was Pat or Sarah that sent that to me. I'm so sorry, ladies. Whichever one of you it was, thank you so much. So that's that one. And then this is the last one. And there is this lovely pink trim here. This trim from my stash with the beaded trim over the top. And another handmade silk 
ivory flower which again was following the um, tutorial by Trisha so the other thing that I have to show you is the other thing that I've been doing so in um, redecorating our living room etc etc we decided we'd make a new television cabinet so excuse me if I make you dizzy I'm going to show you what I made this guys <coughs> is my new television cabinet I'm really proud of it this was a plain wooden cabinet before and what I have done here is I've changed the handles I have collaged the top and the fronts of the drawers and then the side I don't know how well you can see that it's just one sheet of paper it was a wallpaper that I used so the sides is just one sheet I painted obviously all round the edges white and the top and the front of the drawers as I said I collaged in the paper because it wasn't wide enough I used black distress ink around the edges of everything just to define the edges and then I varnished it so I'm going to show you as much of the top as I can because it does have the television on it and there's my shadow, sorry about that but there you go, so I'm going to add some photos of both the things I've been doing now again, apologies that I haven't been around very much um, and I hope to be able to get some things done this week I've got a couple of commitments, things that I've said I'd make to people that I haven't either had time or space or energy to do but I hope to do that soon so thank you very much for watching guys thanks for bearing with me and I'll speak to you all very soon Take care. Bye.